In other videos, we've discussed the member local access system and why it's useful to us. And we've covered how the default member local access orientation is established. The purpose of this video is to show a couple tools that come in handy if we ever have a need to modify the default orientation of a member. So to show the first tool, let's just take a look at the columns in this model and note that the column B1 has a local x-axis that points downward, where the column on the right, B3, has the opposite orientation. There's no reason that this model won't run, but in terms of interpreting analysis results downstream, it may be more convenient for us to have all of our columns oriented in the same way so that we could at a glance understand that the starting end represents, for instance, the bottom. So we may want to come in and modify the orientation of member B1. If all I want to do is swap the orientation uh, from top to bottom or from starting end to ending end, I can select a member and then come to modify and we have this tool called reverse node order for selected elements. I'll give that a click and then acknowledge and now we can see that the column has taken on the same orientation both on the left and on the right. They match and now top and bottom or start and end have the same meaning when we dive in and take a look at results for those two members. The next tool that I'll show has to do with the rotation of a member along its own longitudinal axis. So let's take a quick look at view and then quick render to see that the beam in this model has its web in the vertical plane. Let's just say that we want to rotate that beam. We have a tool in modify under member properties called element local angles. What I'll do is I'll select an angle that we can see 45 degrees will work well and then I'll click OK and we can see that there's definitely a change to the orientation of that member. What's important to understand is how to figure which way the program is going to rotate a member and it's easy. If you use your right hand and point your right thumb in the direction of that red member local X axis, the natural curl of your right fingers will show you the direction of rotation of a positive element local angle value. So that's why the top flange rotated away from us when we applied a 45 degree rotation. And to go one step further, and maybe a little bit more practical, if I select the beam again and then come back to member properties, element local angles, and set the value to 90, we can see how we might rotate a member from say a strong direction to a weak direction so that instead of a beam it acts more like a GERD. So that's a couple examples of how you might choose to modify the member local access system to suit your modeling needs.